Hey guys, Jake here with Jake's Trains, and today we have ourselves a review of an Intermountain Railway Company 3 Bay Hopper. Um, so this one actually has a bit of a backstory. So this past week I've actually been out on the road working, and I, it ended up landing me in Montoursville, um, which after discussing with the guys over at Bridgeline Designs, um, finding out that they are also located there as well as that they handle the warranty work for ESU. Um, they are also located at the upper level of the building that English Model Railroad Supply uh, is at. So that is actually just a, a little hobby store. Um, but they are actually the home of Bowser Manufacturing. So I picked up a card and I'll post a couple pictures of their uh, sign outside. And I got to talking with those guys a little bit and I just ended up, couldn't leave there without uh, end up getting something. Um, so I ended up actually having to take a couple of my ESU Next 18 decoders in because they ended up uh, getting fried. And so they replaced them while I was there, which was awesome. Uh, saved everyone time and shipping and everything. Um, but while I was there, ended up picking up this Union Pacific 3 Bay Hopper. It is... Obviously, as you can tell, made by Intermountain. It is the... God, I love having cats. It is after 10 o'clock, and it is now their time to have a house. Um, so this is car number 74444. Um, it is a Uni Pacific Bicentennial, uh, 4,750 cubic foot ribbed side, three bay hopper. Part number 453102-01. Um, so this is my first Intermountain uh, car that I own. Um, I do have a, uh, a Jeevo by them. Um, that one, it, it's seen better days. That's why you guys really haven't seen it. Um, and as many of you know, it's actually a little tough to get parts from Intermountain. For their uh, older models so but either way let's go ahead and open this package up and see how it looks all right so here is the tag on the side of the box that way you guys can actually see the item number there and everything that's about it um that way you guys can try and get one yourself if you want one all right so now that we got her out of the packaging i can already tell these guys did a heck of a job at doing this. The paint is nice and straight and crisp. Very nice and vibrant. Uh, one thing to make note of is that this does come with metal couplers and metal wheels. The couplers are also body mounted, not truck mounted. Um, Nice thing that they did was that they actually took the time and put all the small lettering and everything all over it. Even underneath, up top. rolling and same thing with the other side um, the nice things to point out is they included already installed the handbrake and chain your airlines are already attached and actually hanging off to the side so that's really nice to see got your cylinders and everything are all in there so as you can see it even comes with all the lettering and badging on the side um, here is the underside 
not a whole lot of detail down here, but um, the actual covers to the uh, to the hopper have pretty decent detail. Um, they do not move or anything like that. So, um, one thing that I do want to point out about this unit, uh, as you can see, it does have metal etched see-through walkways all across the top. But the only thing I'm not liking about them is they are very wavy. Now that might be because of the fact that the metal is just so thin. Um, but I'm also noticing out of the box that, and not really this side. Um, around. This side here, not all of the support legs are actually in the holes. So there might be some minor work that you have to do when you actually take it out of the box. Just to put those back in, that might actually help level some of them out. Um, but the latches up top, they have some really nice detail with the hinges and everything. They do not open, but I thought that was a nice detail as well. So. All right, let's go ahead and check out the coupler heights, make sure they are all where they need to be, and then we'll throw it up on the layout, and I guess we'll just have a nice run by with it. Doesn't make any noise or anything like that. All right, guys, let's check out the heights here. You can see it lines up perfectly. The coupler cut lever is up high enough so it won't catch on anything on this side let's go ahead and take this out check the other side as it wants to roll away all right now the other side same thing lines up absolutely perfect no problems copper cut lever is up high enough so, all right, all right. so we're gonna go ahead and do a quick run by. So this car is gonna be in with a mixed freight pulled by UP1111 and CSX 3194. Um, it's gonna be mixed in with some MTH cars as well as some older Tyco cars and uh, some of my, uh, my Bowser stuff that is mixed between uh, undecorated and my Bessemer and Lake Erie car. You can see it fits in real nice with the MTH and Bowser stuff. It's definitely pretty easy to tell once we get to the uh, AHM and Tyco stuff. But the couplers can hold a good bit of weight behind it, so that's always nice to have. Right, guys well that should just about do it for this video one other thing I wanted to point out is that the roller bearing caps on this car do not move um, so that is kind of a bit of a downside but I mean it is what it is like I said it fits in with everything else I own so personally I'm happy with it um, and in all honesty the fact that those uh, walkways are a little wavy really doesn't bother me any um, kind of gives it a, a good uh, characteristic there so but if you are a, uh, a pretty serious modeler and you want all your cars to be perfectly you know straight and everything with the walkways and stuff 
that's uh, one thing that you just want to might keep in mind. So, but so that'll do it with this video. If you like what you saw here, um, go ahead and hit that like button. If this is your first time coming to the channel, don't be afraid. Go ahead and smash that subscribe button and maybe even that bell icon. That way you're notified whenever I post. I've got uh, several other videos getting ready to come out here. Um, so yeah, uh, thanks again for watching. Have yourselves a great night.